okay, if you wanted to continue teaching while you're not there, or the students are not there, whatever the reason might be, let me show you how to record something to throw it into Canvas. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up QuickTime Pro. Now with QuickTime Pro, um, we're going to go up here, let me zoom in, we're going to go to QuickTime Pro, we're going to go to File, and we're going to go to New Screen Recording. Now this is going to record the screen. When I'm ready, I'm going to hit I'm going to check and make sure it's going to come off of the the microphone is going to come off of a certain microphone. Okay, when I'm ready, I hit record. It's going to ask me, do you want to record the whole screen or just part of the screen? And so if I just click, it's going to start recording the full screen. If I drag a certain area, like if I had to drag, it would just record just that area. So I'm going to hit click and hit present. Okay, it's now recording my my presentation and so I can go ahead and give the information to the kids the way that I would like to do it just using a Google slide presentation recording my voice because you notice in my things I don't put a lot of words I tend to put photos or things like that and then we can talk about it together and so if I just put the, the uh, PowerPoint or put the Google slide presentation online they wouldn't really know what to do with it but if I'm talking through it they'll understand it and so that's a quick way to record it. And so when I get done, I'm just going to go back into QuickTime. Uh, and up here at the top, let me zoom in at the top, this right here, that's the little stop button. So I hit that stop button and it pulls it up. So this is the video we recorded. Let's, uh, okay, it's now recording my, my presentation. Okay, so that's, that's a quick way to do it. And then when you get done, I'm going to just hit the X. It says, where do you want to save it? I'm just going to say, testing. OK, save. Now it's going to save it to the desktop. So when I hide this stuff, you'll see it right down here. That's it right there. OK, so that's a quick way to record it. Then you've got it just on there. You're ready to go. Let me show you how to get into um, Canvas and to put it on there without it actually causing problems, without it actually causing well, not problems, without it causing it to take away from your space, because you're only allowed to have so much space in files. So let me show you how to do that. Um, I go into my pages, pages, and then at the top it says view all pages. So, so these are all different videos that I've done so they can, they can watch them at home. Um, but here's what I do. So I'm going to hit add a page. Now that I'm in here, I'm just going to call it test, whoops, testing. Um, and then to get it to go up there, I hit there's this button right here that says record upload media okay I click on that and it's gonna say record media well there I am I'm gonna hit to upload media and then I'm gonna hit select video file now I'm gonna go down to the desktop called it testing that's it right there I'm gonna hit open it's gonna upload this to canvas and it's not taking any of your space when you throw it into a page like this uh, it only takes the space if you throw it into the files over on the left hand side. So I'm going to upload that. Once it's uploaded, it's right there. Okay, great. And then I'm going to hit Save and Publish. Okay, it's now one of my pages. So if I click on this, oh, it's cur currently reconverted. So we'll, we'll try back in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Calendar. And this is the way I put it on here. As I go into it, uh, today is let's see March 12th so if I were to put it on today's date I would click on it and then I'd say I want to upload to digital photography and then I'm going to title this um, whatever I want to call the lesson plan so if I just say this is um, video testing okay that's I don't know so then I'm gonna hit more options at this point with more options on the right hand side I'm going to do a drop down pages and I'm gonna find it we call it testing. So let's see, testing right there. So now it just comes up with that. I always go to the left and I said, and I'll say, say click for video. And then I just tell it, whoops, click for video, testing. Okay, create the event. So I've made the page and now I've created the event so the kids can get to it because I don't have the pages all published for them all to see it. But if they click on this and they go calendar, they say, oh, this is what we're doing today. Video testing, click for video. Okay, so they click on that and then they can watch the video that we just made. Okay, it's now recording 
my my presentation. And so I can go ahead and give the... So this is a good way and a quick way to record it and to uh, get the information to the kids and throw it underneath the calendar. So that way they look at it and they go, okay, what are we doing today? Oh, we're doing that. Anyway, there it is.